In this video, we're going to be talking about the difference between an incremental, differential, and full backup. We begin by loading the Nova Backup software. On clicking the Backup tab, you've already selected which files it is you'd like to back up. I went ahead and I just picked a few directories here just for testing. Took a pretend directory in the Users folder, commonly used uh, folders that people wish to back up. I selected it to back up to my network device. Now I'm going to Settings to decide what configuration I want this backup to be. Uh, write mode, append to media, and overwrite. These are pretty self-explanatory. If you would like to overwrite previous, uh, your previous backups, you would leave overwrite. If you'd like to append, meaning you don't want to touch your previous backups, you select it to append. Um, I current, I'd like to recommend keeping it to append because you can always go back in and delete your data later. If you set to overwrite and find out you need a backup from a few days ago, you're kind of screwed. So selecting it to append is usually my preferred suggestion. Looking at the backup mode, we have full, incremental, differential, and snapshot. First, we'll go by these one by one. First, we'll look at the full backup. The full backup backs up every file you have selected in its entirety each time the job runs. I've went ahead and created a test sample here of what a normal backup file structure would look like if you were running a full backup. If we go to full, in this job I have 100 megabytes changing on a day-to-day -day basis. You can see the first backup, which was run on the 23rd, was about 10 gigs roughly 500 megs, and as it goes up, the 100 megs of change I made after each day slowly increases it. So this folder being here is you know, well over 70, uh, 70 gigabytes. It's great that you're taking all of the data in its entirety, but it consumes a lot of disk space. Option two is your incremental backup. An incremental backup looks at your previous full backup and only backs up the data that has changed since your previous incremental backup. So looking at incremental file structure looks something like this. You see there was an initial full backup of 10 gigs and 100 megs changed. There's 100 megs have changed. Now a, an additional 100 megs have changed. Still, only the most recent changes since the previous incremental has changed. You see 100 megs have been changed every day and only 100 megs has been uploaded from the server from um, looking at each previous incremental backup. Going to the third option now, we have differential. Differential takes only the last backup file files from the previous full backup. It does not look at sub sub uh, subsequent differential backups. It only looks at your previous full backup. If we look at a differential backup, according to my little model here, you will see it works similar to an incremental in the sense that it only backs up the data has changed, but since it's only looking at the full backup, it continuously grows. I've changed 100 megabytes every day, and it's only comparing it to the first initial full backup, each differential ignoring the previous differentials before it. As you can see, 100 megabyte, 200 megabyte, 300 megabytes have changed. The benefit of a differential over an incremental is it's a lot quicker to restore your data. When you need to restore all of your files, you only need to look at those two files to restore all of your data. Very quick for when it comes to restoring. The downside, of course, is it takes significantly amount of room. Incremental, if you need to restore all of your data from, from, the, from the most recent to the ones that haven't been backed up in a while, you're going to have to go through all of these incrementals piece by piece. Granted, if you're only restoring one file from yesterday, it's only going to look at the last incremental anyway. But if you need to restore all of your data, it's going to need to look at all of these files. If you do nothing but incrementals for an entire month, and you find you have to restore every single one of your documents, it's going to access all 30 of the files in order to restore all of that data back to you. Now, that will work, and that will be fine, but you're looking at a much longer restore time than if you had used differentials. To put it simply, what I like to tell people is, if you find yourself doing a lot of re restores during the course of a month or week, you should go with differential. If you find yourself going, rarely having to restore and you want your backups to be quick and small, incremental is what you want to go with. The, the fourth option is a snapshot. A snapshot is the same thing as a full backup, everything that's selected, but it does not mark the files as backed up. This is something that you might want to do independently of your other backup jobs. If you want to backup, say for example, a specific folder, but you don't want it to be flagged or stripped away from your normal full backup that's occurring later on in the, in the week or month. These are more independent backups for specific folders. This concludes snapshot, differential, incremental, and full backup procedures.